So I'm just gonna measure my boobs right now. Okay, hello everyone. Today we are talking about bras. Now, love them or hate them, they are a necessity for most of us. So today I am going to talk about the ways you are wearing and caring for your bras wrong. And I'm actually going to include myself in this video because I feel like there are a ton of tips and rules about washing your bras, storing your bras, bra fit, cup fit, band fit, strap fit, all the fits, and I'm probably doing all of them wrong. <laughs> so I scoured the internet and I picked a bunch of tips and rules and tricks. And I not only am sharing these tips with you, I am also going to put myself to the test. I am currently wearing one of my everyday bras and I busted out my other bras. And honestly, looking at my bras, I'm like, I am not a very sexy person. <laughs> In scouring these tips and tricks and rules from bra experts, I found some of them to be quite ridiculous, so we're gonna talk about those too. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. You can tap that subscribe button so you see my videos every Tuesday. Okay, let's talk about underwire fit. I read this tip uh, from a celebrity stylist her name Simone Hiroche. I think I'm saying that right, and I've heard of her name many times before because we work in the same industry. And she said that the underwire should lay flat against your chest. Yeah, it's laying flat. She said if it lifts, it means either the band doesn't fit correctly or you have the wrong cup size. So which one is it? That's the million dollar question, right? So here's another tip that I read. It said if you can put your fingers behind your back and put two or three fingers under your band, then the band's too big. Well, I can fit like my whole hand. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe will tightening my bra do the trick? Okay, I don't know about this tip if it's very accurate. It's snug everywhere else. So there's one of those tips where you just use your own discretion. I personally feel, I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, but this is fitting nicely. And so, you know, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't pay too much attention on that. Okay, so I read some ridiculousness <laughs> that I had to share. I read that if you want to keep your bras in the best shape possible, you should wash them after every wear. Are you kidding me? Like, oh, my days are just filled with when I come home, I make dinner and I wash my bra every night. No, 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 no. See, this is where I feel like things get a little out of hand. It's just a bra. It's not your family heirloom. That's a little extreme. For me, I would suggest the best practice is to wash your bra every one to two weeks. But I have to say, you guys, I'm guilty. I am terrible at washing my bras. I can go months. Yeah, I don't know if that's embarrassing information, but it's just the truth. <laughs> let's, okay, let's first talk about finding your bra size because I feel like most of us are going around the world wearing the wrong size bra, myself included, and I honestly feel like I'm on the constant search to like find that perfect bra. There's a lot of conflicting information and not all bras fit the same, even if they are the same size. That's just the truth. So there are two elements to the bra, which is the cup size and the band size. So I'm just gonna measure my boobs right now and see if these measurements are correct with the bras that I actually have. So let's first start with finding your band size. Now I found this information on Google, so and I didn't crazy fact check, but I thought it made sense based on my experience and my professional expertise being a stylist. So just wanna share that. Band size, it says to wrap a measuring tape under your bust and add three. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so this is 29 inches, so I'm going to add three like it says. Let's see if I passed the band Test. Oh, 34. Eh, wrong. Let's try another bra. 34? This is, what the heck? Big fat fail. All my bras are 34. Okay, now let's go on to the cup test. I'm calling this a test. Is this a test? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it says, tightly measure around the fullest part of your bust and across. And so for this, you guys, you have to do it without your bra on. And the problem I have with this is that when you take your bra off, if you got real boobs, they're squishy. So I kind of felt it's it's a little tricky to make sure, you know, you're really getting horizontal with the measuring tape and like not squishing your boobs to get like the accurate 
measurement. I know, it's kind of a pain. That's why no one is measuring their boobs. <laughs> That's why everyone's wearing the wrong bras, because it's a pain in the ass to do this yourself. My measurement says I am a 32. Subtract the band size from your bust size. Basically, and I'm gonna put this in the description below, after you subtract the band size from your bust size, and let's say you get one, then one is your A cup size. Or let's say if after you subtract you get two, then two is B. So for me, I subtracted 32 from 29, yeah, and I got three, so I am a C, and then so on. And I will put this formula in the description below. I don't know. You guys, I think I just failed this test, but at least now I know that I am a size 32C. <laughs> There's a caveat to this. There is truly no exact science because the truth is even if you find your cup and band size, it will still fluctuate based on different brands or cuts of bras that you wear. So use that size as a benchmark and then just adjust it depending on you know what bras you're buying. Okay, so let's talk about how you should wash your bras. So in my research, the overall consensus, which I agree as well, is that you should always hand wash your bras because throwing them in the washer and dryer really distorts them and warps them and ruins their fit and shape. So that is specifically with the molded cut bras like this, but for me, seamless bras, fashion bras, I just throw them in the washer. It's fine. There's like nothing to really F up, but the biggest tip when you do throw your bras in the washing machine is, is you should always clasp the back, I thought this was a good tip. Otherwise, you know, the little hook and eyes can snag on other things in the washing machine. I thought that was a great little reminder. This is something that I just learned and I'm so happy I discovered this. So they say that you should not hang your bras to dry. So for me, when I, after I've washed my bras, this like a bra, looks like a bra factory in my house. They're hanging on all the doorknobs, all the doors, they're in the shower, who knows, they might be in the kitchen. I'm hanging them everywhere. But I've learned that distorts the shape. So you should always lay them flat to dry. Oh, and do not use the dryer ever. Well, I understand maybe if you're in a pinch, use it on low. Like I get it, we're busy, like things happen, whatever. Say. Now, according to Google, it says that if you have the right bra on, there should be no space in the cups. Like, what about the top cup? That's not a cup, that's a strap. But I feel like I'm filling it out pretty, pretty good. I'd say that tip is, is reasonable. I feel like, yeah, okay, I pass. Okay, when it comes to straps, Google also said, and I don't know if this is like facts or whatnot, you guys, like I said, I took the tips and tricks that resonated with me and that I thought made sense or were ridiculous and I just wanted to start a dialogue with you, which is really what I'm doing. That the straps should have a nice settle on your shoulders and they should never fall off. And mine are, yeah, they're, the, the bolder holders are holding. <laughs> they really are. You don't wanna adjust the strap so much that the back comes up, you know, to the back of your neck, because then that just is like sagging the front part. So, which is defeating the purpose of a good fitting bra. And with that being said, this last tip is one that I read a while ago that I do believe in. You need to make sure the back of your bra is horizontal across your back, not riding up like touching the back of your neck. Because the reality is that means that your bra number one is ill-fitting and it's also just too big. So during this video, did you guys do any of the little tests? Were you like me, like looking in your shirt, putting your hand behind your back, like doing the little, you know, shimmy? <laughs> I I'm going to include the details of the tips that I talked about today in the description below so you can reference them if you want to figure out your fit or just a little reminder on these little bra tips. I thought this video was fun. Please let me know what you thought of it and if you liked this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, now would be the perfect time to do so. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me over at Lindsay Albanese. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I actually have to go bra shopping now because clearly I'm a little off. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Mwah.